we have upgraded the CRT to a widescreen. This is technically the best or maybe the second best widescreen CRT TV you can buy. I scooped this bad boy up off Kajij for uh, 30 bucks guys. This was like a thousand dollars 15 years ago and now I got it for 30 bucks. And I'm not gonna lie, this TV was super heavy. I don't know if you can see the beef, the beef of this bad boy, but it's like literally as long as my arm. Um, it's producing a picture that is unrivaled in 720p, or I believe this is 1080i. And the reason I wanted, this is the TV I always wanted. The one that I had going before, it was actually my very first video. And it was this guy. And I got this off a friend at work, and it's a full screen. That's the only reason, and it didn't actually do 480p, that I had uh, always in my mind really wanted this um, TV. And I finally got it for the right price. It was a heck of a time to get it up on this uh, dresser. But as you can see, we're watching... Uh, a Blu-ray on PS4 and it's just looking stunning. The black levels, the glow, like this is HDR before HDR guys and the way it's meant to be seen. And the other reason I got it was uh, we got uh, off Kajij. We picked up this bad boy, Sega Genesis. Um, and this is just kind of a TV for my classic consoles. I'm on the hunt for Super Nintendo as well. Uh, if the price is right, we're gonna snag that. Guys, if you can find a CRT that is this, this kind of quality, then that's what you're gonna wanna grab. And I'm gonna just pull in as close as I can just to kind of pixel peep a little bit. Money and six passports and a gun. Look at that. You can just make out the pixels. Who has a bank account number in their head? 30 inches widescreen. So it looks great. I see the exit sign too. I know the And you know what's also really impressive? I'm like looking at a CRT right now and I'm not really getting any of those like nasty uh, refresh rate scuff. I can tell you the license plate. It's actually filming really good. I can tell you with my GoPro. And the guy up at the counter Looks amazing. We are going to get into some Eternal Doom um, special edition PS4. Just the glow of CRTs, like somehow it just has this ability to oh, like get immersed in the glow. I get so all the sound is that hell can conjure. All the wickedness that mankind can produce, we will send unto them. Only you rip and tear until it is done. I think this was a reboot, right? The original one, this is the second one, it's like it's supposed to be Hell on Earth. They rebooted the series. Sounds like 
amazing. That's so crazy. Here we go. Look at this. Right off the bat. Oh, these guys are fast. I have located the priest signal. I will mark it on your HUD. That's really good. I've ever seen PS4 look. I'm not. I'm not kidding. Like, this is an original day one PS4, and uh, it looks friggin' amazing. Dude. Okay, guys. Now we're gonna try out some Dragon's Crown Pro. That uh, 2D kind of hand-drawn stuff on CRTs. It's this next level. It adds to the 3D element. I've never played through this whole game, called but... for a stein of the finest mead. Your partner, Rani, is in a particularly good mood. <laughs> Adventurers come here not only for repairs, but for appraisals and to purchase magic items. You will visit Morgan often. You should return to the guild and see if the guildmaster deems you worthy. God of War. And you can see the detail on this. It looks absolutely phenomenal. Another Atlas game. I just really want to kind of show off the animation. Um, I think on CRT's animation looks so good. It's so bright, so vivid, and the the levels of the blacks just give it a real 3D. Kind of look. Let's actually check these pixels really quick. Looks really good. Looks really smooth.
I love it, guys. Just for another uh, look at quality, we are running our Japanese Panasonic GameCube. This thing is a sight to behold. And uh, we're running 480p Wind Waker. But the 480p just looks absolutely, like the colors just pop. Absolutely pop. It's like you're playing an animation. Somehow it also, running on CRT, like everything is just more bold. And it also gives almost like a 3D element to all the, uh, textures like looking under this kind of bridge you just see the shadows on the uh, wood pieces underneath and it just I don't know somehow it just looks better this game was so epic I think this is the pinnacle of Zelda I know um, Everyone's gonna say Link to the Past or um, you know Majora's Mask or something, but I honestly think this game uh, it was so bold with the animation style it shows, but it did it with GameCube and you were literally playing like a Disney animation. So we're gonna leave it there, guys, and yeah, that's the Sony 30 HS 420. KV HS 420 I think. Don't pass this one up if it comes your way, but you're gonna definitely need someone else to help you get it home. But if you can, you're in for a real nice picture. Talk to you next time. See double W's.